today's plan basically is to find you guys a spot as much as I can and much as I'm able then uh, I'm gonna find probably the best spot for you and even a pay streak that'd be nice because if I can find a pay streak and the way it's running and it looks to me that that's what this is it seems to be a pay streak right through here so um, if I can confirm that for you then all you need to do is turn up bring your stuff out here and start digging so stay with us and uh, we'll get you on it that's right G'day everybody, Smokey Joe back, new adventure, today we're in uh, Thanes Creek fossicking area and uh, Smokey's been here once before early in his prospecting days, um, back when he was a bit of a greenhorn actually to tell you the truth and uh, I had no idea back then um, but this, I guess this was the place that really got me going because uh, with the tiniest little bit of knowledge um, gained just like you guys off YouTube. I came out with a with a pan set and um, a big ticker, as I always do, that's right. And I uh, found my first bit of gold in a pan and that was it. I was done, I was hooked. And uh, this is where it all began. Just gonna have some breakfast and then from there we'll get a cup of wet and uh, see what we get. That's right, stay with us. One of Smokey's favourite friends. If you come out here, make sure if you pick rocks up, be careful that these things aren't under it. Because, I'll tell you what, you will not be a happy camper. That is a big one. I've been bitten by one half that size. And yeah, pain scale, one to 10, it was a nine and a half. And I've never felt anything worse, so I'm sure there is. That's why I give it a nine and a half. What was it like? Terrible, like putting a hot frying pan on your arm for six hours, Burning. non-stop, non-stop, terrible. So anyway, we've come across a signal here and uh, down in this hole, we just pulled out a bit of tin. So I'm assuming this is where heavies have fallen out. So we're just gonna have a bit of a dig here and see what we can come up with. I need to keep an eye out where that thing was. Yeah. So I don't wanna be putting my hands back in that. So anyway, that's right, be careful. Keep your heads down, that's right. I'd hate to be out here with one of, without one of these. Look at these flies. It's just they're pests. You'll end up you'll end up leaving within an hour. Make sure you bring one. And um, yeah, so that's it. There's a bit, a couple of tiny little bits. 
probably not worth continuing on up there because, you know, to get that amount of material took us about 15 minutes to bust that bedrock open. So I'm thinking I might try another spot. So Smokey's got a new motto. If all of you guys have been watching my videos, normally I do a pan, and then if I'm I don't get much or I don't get anything, I generally tend to move on. And I'm finding that you have better luck if you just at least give it another go. So come for one, stay for two. Yeah, what do you reckon? Come for one, stay for two. Sounds a bit raunchy, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> No. This material just flies out of the pan. There's hardly anything that keeps it in there, so it's it's quick it's quick to pan, but I think you just gotta be careful, especially when you get down to this level. You don't wanna be uh, washing anything out. Oh, look at that. Spin and win. Uh, yeah, that's two pans for two, so you know if you can gold in most pans then that's that's what you're after. You know, you wanna be in an area where you're getting some reward because otherwise you know it's like going fishing and not losing a bait it's the most boring time you'll ever have in your life you must just go sit in the back deck and suck down a few tubes bottles of suds sailor soft drinks <laughs> <laughs> a few tubes yeah. how old are you what's it what, what's wrong with a few tubes tubes yeah. i don't know is that a queensland thing I don't know i just made it up <laughs> <laughs> So for you guys that are just coming out for the day and haven't prospected before, uh, this area is designated for you because then you can just pick up a, you know, a, a week's license or a month's license from the Queensland government. Anyway, if you just Google Queensland Fossicking License, it'll come up. Um, so what you want is obviously a set of pans. I like the Garrett Super Sluice, or you can get a cheap one online for a couple of bucks off eBay if you just want to try it out and effectively do the same thing. It'll keep your costs down just so you can get out and have a go then you'll want something to classify your material so you want to get rid of all the big rocks out of it because it becomes too hard to pan so off the smaller the material in here the better because it's a lot easier to work um, so you might just want to stop by at um, Kmart or Target and pick yourself up a strainer for vegetables you know you can get those little strainers with the handles on them with the the wire mesh on the bottom that will get the material really fine it might be a little bit too fine, but uh, you might have something lying around the house. But yeah, you want to separate the larger material from the smaller material. Um, and once you've done that, you pretty much get it in your pan. Make sure that when it's in there, that you give it a little bit of a stir with your hand first, just to agitate the material, make sure that it's all stratified. And then you just want to spin it around side to side a bit more. Now, every pan, doesn't matter what pan you have, it'll have a set of riffles at the front. So you want to use the big ones first. Side to side, like that, round and round, and it loosens the material. So what happens is the gold's gonna fall down to the bottom of the pan now. And then you go side to side, and then when you go side to side on top of that, you tilt forward. So now, your gold is gonna be at the bottom of the pan on this angle. So now what the riffles do, if you just washing the material like this, the top material will then flow out. And your gold is gonna be down in this corner and it's gonna be held back by these riffles. So after you do it a few times like that, you just stratify it again, tip your pan on a 45, and then you just wash out your material again. Like that. Now, you just do that a few times, you flatten your pan out again, side to side, tilt it forward and then just wash out again. So now you can see we're getting down to a smaller amount of material to work with. You want to take it a little bit easier now. Same thing, just a little bit more. Tilt forward, wash out. So now, basically what happens is your gold is gonna be in this bottom section here most likely, but if it does come out of this bottom little hook, it's gonna get caught in this one. So you just, you keep, repeating this until you get down to enough material it's about this much about that much material and then you just want to spin it around and then basically you're doing the same thing 
but because you don't have the riffle protection here, you're just doing it a little bit, a little bit easier. So you're just letting that top material wash off just like that. If you see any big rocks or whatever, just pull them out and just get rid of them. Same thing, you just keep going for a little bit and you just want to be careful and as you go watch here because if you do have any gold, particularly little bigger flex, you'll see it. So you'll be able to stop it before it comes out. Now if you have a look in the pan here now, you can see we've got a lot of iron oxide. That's this red, these little red rocks. So that's ironstone broken down over millions of years and that's a good sign because that's heavy material. If you're getting that, you're, you're doing pretty good. So now what you wanna do is just cover, cover the material that you've got left in the pan by about that much water. And then you just wanna tap the side of your pan like that. You're using inertia now. The gold's now gonna to come to this corner. So basically this is just our method. If others are out there have got plenty of other methods and you'll find heaps online anyway if you don't want to use this method, but we find this one's the best one. So tapping to the corner and you're keeping your pan a little bit angled down, but then pretty much flat at this stage. Now, as you keep tapping, you just want to tilt away like that and then let it go. So now, Joe can show you, there's gold. So that's, that's where your gold is. Now, to get to the gold, because that's actually a fairly little, a decent little bit, but if you've got smaller pieces, now what you want to do is bring your water back over this corner and you just want to tap that. You can see how that gold is now tapped to the front. And as you tap, pull away. Bring the water back, tap, pull away. Bring the water back slowly, tap, pull away. So now, all you're left with is you can see a little bit of ironstone on that. So we can just manipulate a little bit like that. And there you go. Got one piece there, and there's another tiny bit in front of it, and there's another little bit. So you've got three little bits there, and that's how you separate it. Give it a go for you guys, and um, it gets easier as you, as you do it more, and uh, hopefully you get gold like that. Now to pick up the gold, you're going to need one of these. A snuffer bottle and generally they come they come in a pack but you might be able to find these on eBay or something for a couple of bucks so that is to pick up your gold and it'll suck up that gold just like that now you can see all that ironstone there jumping in a corner and that that gives you a, an idea of what this technique does you know you can see those heavies then straight into that corner bucket loads so that's, that's really flicked out. You'll probably find there's more down in here because that's really just gone right up into the corner. Yeah. So it was um, definitely a spin and win, that one. I can see probably, might be a dozen bits in there and three three or four one, nice one, two, little three, pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and, it wouldn't be and there's one there. I'd be surprised if there's more down in here too. Yeah. Um, there, I can see a little bit there too in there. We can get that later. track comes in, you come in through this way. down there in between these two trees uh, these two trees and to your right there's a house over there you can see that Thanes Creek Fossicking area heaps of fun no one else around and it's a Sunday so you know fantastic get out here and Get amongst it, get off the couch, keep your heads down, keep them wet, that's right, see you next time.
Oh, he has one of those net things like us. Has he? He's been on the same eBay. <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> Where's Snuffy?